Okay, welcome to another lesson in Blender. The version we're using for this lesson is 2.59. We're going to be creating a maze and learning how to subdivide it and color it using different materials. So to get started, go ahead and open up Blender. We're going to select the cube and delete it because we don't need it. You're going to go to Add Mesh and select Plane. And then press S. Then follow that up with pressing 10 and then the enter key and that will size our plane 10 times okay and it's real important that you get the plane the right way um, if you hit F12 you should be seeing a gray object which is your plane if you hit 0 you can kinda see what portion the camera is viewing on the plane okay um, if your plane is upside down when you hit F12 you won't see anything so if you can see the edge of your plane then you're good okay just a little something that I've noticed in the past students somehow flip the plane and it's not good from there okay so if you see the plane you're good alright alright so we are going to go into edit mode and we're gonna start subdividing our plane okay and over here on our left hand side you'll see subdivide okay you can click on subdivide or you can press W and select subdivide W is the shortcut so either way works and then you want to open up this subdivide tab here and the number of cuts is the number of times it gets divided obviously the more times that you cut it the more complex your maze could be. I'm going to require you guys in my class to put 10. Now if you want to put more than 10 that is up to you. Okay, It'll be harder to color it in but your maze will be um, it'll be it can be more complex. So I'm, we're gonna go with 10 in my class and then what you want to do is click on face select mode and right now when they're orange like this, that means that the box or the face is selected. Okay? So, what we're going to do is basically deselect them and create our maze or our path. And we're going to be creating a Pac Man game. So, I'm going to leave that outside wall selected. and you want to create a pattern basically think about how Pac-Man works he has little sections to get through and you can design it however you want so I'm holding shift and I am right clicking and you want to create some kind of pattern okay so what you want to do next is push one Okay, and that'll view it from the side. And we're going to hit E. And if you don't remember what E is, E extrudes it. So you press E, then you can press 2 and enter. And when you do that, you can see that the part that was selected, the orange part, that's the part that will extrude. Okay, so the part that we deselected, that is now our floor. Okay, so we have a maze. We've got little barriers that we can move our Pac-Man guy through when we create him, and it's looking good. So now we need to do what we need to do now is add some color to the maze. So let's open up this window here. You're going to click on Material, and we're going to create a new material. And you can go to Diffuse here and select a material, or select a color here and that'll make our maze that color okay then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and select your floor okay so we have our floor selected so what we want to do next is hit plus and then click new and we're gonna add a new material and you can pick a different color and once you have your color selected you're gonna click assign and it will assign it to what you have selected okay 
So what you want to do now is you want to hold your shift button down and you want to select your floor and once you have it all selected you're going to click on the material and then click assign okay and by default it'll go back when you select it it goes to um, the original color the original material so once you have it selected you have to click Material 2 and then Assign. And 2.59, the version, the new version, is actually, I find it a lot easier to assign colors. Alrighty. So we have a floor that's one color. Oops, I left one out. There we go. Okay. We have the floor that's one color, and then the walls are another color and we can hit F12 and render out the one frame and you can see it Okay. Um, just a little extra if you guys finish up and you have time in class I want to show you something Okay. you can select one of these squares and you can hit E and maybe two and drag it up and while the face is selected we're still in face mode face select mode you can hit S and you can move it towards the middle and you can do stuff like I'll hit period to zoom in you could do stuff you could create little towers to kind of decorate uh, your maze okay um, and then once you're done just go back into edit mode and you can hit period and you can zoom around and that'll be it for creating the maze in part one um, all you have to do now is save it, so just do File Save As. You're going to go to your period, your folder, uh, your Blender folder, and let's name it maze.blend. Then click Save As, and that'll be it for part one.